Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of the question and answer series where users on my discord are going to put questions and I answer them either right there or most likely in this video. So today we have 10 questions that are really cool. So follow along as we start going through them. However, before we begin, I do want to give you guys a quick teaser of one of my upcoming creations. Now please note there's no coloring. There's no microcontrollers, there's no ballast tank, there's pretty much only a preliminary shape. So it's a very, very early in the stages of development, but it's supposed to be an ocean going oil tanker that's going to be used by Alta to transport, you know, the stuff that you mine and drill. But also it will maybe come in a variant that is run by Oma and is used for spill cleanup and that type of thing. But there is a really cool um, stern here that if we come out onto this balcony, you could see it kind of looks like one of those, either a cruise ship or one of those old pirate ships where the like captain has his quarters in the rear. So I just kind of took that into a little bit of a design idea. And as you can see here, there's nothing but a single chair. I just wanted to get a feeling of the view to not have too high of uh, a bridge. So we don't, so we don't end up with, uh, issues with balancing, but pretty much this works. So anyway, that's a quick little teaser. You can also follow along on my discord server where I've actually talked and posted about this, uh, specific creation. So make sure you join there. If you're not already, that's where you can ask the questions that we're just about to cover now. So the first question we have is by TBF asks, would you run your own business if you had the chance? And my answer is absolutely. I would, and I would recommend anyone that's thinking about that to go into it. Obviously you have to plan, you have to have the finances, you have to have the skills or not. Some businesses, you just have to be lucky. But if you're providing a service like photography or videography or engineering or painting or whatever, you know, you have to have some skills and redeeming qualities, maybe start off doing it for very cheap or for free or whatever, build a database of people that you can access, spread the word. But absolutely, I think that's a huge, huge uh, accomplishment if you run your own business and it's successful. Number two, what is your biggest and smallest creations in Stormworks? We're gonna get to that in a second. And number three, when would you consider making some trains in Stormworks? I would consider it right now. Uh, obviously I haven't gotten to it yet because I have a list of things, probably 50 items that I'd like to build, but trains is on there. Uh, with Oma, I didn't have much of a need for trains as much as with Alta. Of course, Alta's first creation was actually a truck that drives on rails and they would definitely benefit from having some sort of transportation system that uses rails. So I definitely plan on doing that. So maybe some of you are familiar, but to date, this is my biggest creation, uh, the Oma Diving Academy. It took maybe not the longest, but it was definitely probably one of the more complex programming the missions. So this is one of my biggest creations. And then if we head over to the garage, this little generator, the rat generator is probably my smallest uploadable creation. What is it? Only seven blocks by three by three. So that is my smallest, but also functional and useful. Also size wise, I'd probably say the MV Cochrane is also one of my biggest creations. Realistically, probably the biggest ship that I'll do, especially most intricate with all the programming it has. It took half a year, as some of you guys know. Uh, I do love it though. I love how it turned out. I think it's a masterpiece of what Stormworks can give us and do for us. So that is also one of my biggest. Probably for sure the lo longest one that took me to make. Now the one that's upcoming is the Alta platform. That may be the biggest in size out of everything, physically at least. So thank you for that question. Question two by Lord Bison. Would you ever consider doing build challenges? So would I participate in them or would I give you guys build challenges to do and you guys do them? The second one, I for sure would if there's enough interest. If we can get five or 10 people that build something that I uh, make a challenge and then I, rec I showcase and rate them or something, that would be something I would definitely consider doing. As far as me building build challenges, uh, I know other users are doing them, but again, like I said, my list of things that I have in mind is so big to build and I have such like a imaginative 
mind that just wanders and I think of all these different things. So it'll be tough to me to drop everything and go to a build challenge unless it was a pretty easy one or if I had the basis of it. But if as far as users go, let me know in my Discord server if you guys would like to participate in a build challenge and we could definitely arrange something and then have a video showcasing it. Thank you for this question, Lord Bison. On to the next. Question three, user rats of rats 2000 asks any racing experience and that answer is yes. So obviously to the right hand side is a little go-kart challenge. I do like and enjoy go-karting. This track was very simplistic and easy, but I have gone to the more uh, organized ones, especially the ones in warehouses where the go-karts can go fairly fast. I love it. And on the left hand side is a Lamborghini Gallardo that I um, in Las Vegas, I went and test drove on the racetrack that they had there and got it up to over like 120 miles an hour or 200 kilometers an hour on a straightaway and turns and stuff. So not in like a competitive style racing at least or professional, but definitely very much uh, enthusiastic and interested in racing. Specifically vehicle racing, if you didn't notice, uh, I have not participated in any other types of races. Question 4, user subduck44 asks, how did you stay motivated in Stormworks? Now this is actually a great topic for another video, just as an entirety, to how to help you guys stay motivated and keep, you know, your creations from falling through the cracks and whatever. But for me, it comes to a couple things. Uh, I enjoy building things by hand, woodwork, physically with cars, all that, like, you know, I'm always doing something. So if I'm not physically doing something, I like to be mentally doing something. So Stormworks gives me that sort of opportunity. Maybe it's too cold in winter time so I could just sit on my computer and make cool things, but that's how I do it first. And then to stay motivated, you take breaks. Sometimes you do hobbies, you watch a movie, you do stuff that's totally different and then you go back into it or also you make a variety of creations maybe one massive creation like my big ship i showed you guys and then a bunch of little ones that are quick and easy and just kind of maybe as stress relief or whatever that's kind of sometimes how i look at it like a meditation almost like i put on music and i just make things so that's a little quick uh, summary of that thank you user subduck44 Okay, question five, user TBF asks, if you could make a new game, what elements would it contain? As an example, if I made a game, it would contain freeform buildings with realistic simulation of air, water, and land when it comes to sound and other things. So that's an awesome question, actually, TBF. Uh, this is something I've thought about for a long time, actually, with my brother growing up when we were gaming, playing like LAN games and stuff, uh, local network games and whatever. Um, huge fan of Grand Theft Auto ever since I was a child in grade school when Vice City came out and then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, and I loved the ability to sort of go and have an open world and then actually San Andreas had a mod version that was online and they had a bunch of role-playing servers protect the president and other ones where you're just cops and robbers and plumbers and random stuff so like a really open world game that also mixes in building and mixes in super simula realistic simulation, like you're saying, of air, water, land, like any type of thing with also destruction too. So, I mean, imagine Beam and G compare combined with San Andreas, or <laughs> my apologies, I'm dating myself. Beam and G combined with Grand Theft Auto 6 or whatever, like a new version of that combined with Stormworks or Kerbal or whatever like that, where you have this kind of massive ability to create your own things. Obviously not the criminal side of Grand Theft Auto, but the open world side of that and the B and G and all that stuff. So something along those lines would just be like a super realistic, almost like an engineering program slash game where you can go and accomplish tasks. Very similar to Stormworks. Maybe it would be Stormworks with better graphics, like more realistic instead of like the bit graphics. I don't know, but definitely something along those lines. Really cool question. I could talk about this for days, but two minutes and time to go to the next one. User Reaper Leviathan 101 asks, what is your favorite Stormworks build? This is question six, and what is my favorite Stormworks build? Realistically, it's probably all of my builds. 
like I'm proud of each single one of them. This one I'm proud because it took me the longest. I remember putting the little barrels and thinking like, geez, I'm making <laughs> and little kiddie pool with the lawn chairs. And I'm just like, this is probably getting too realistic at this point, but I loved it. My favorite ship to use probably in single player if I'm ever playing alone is the Airdrie, RSV Airdrie, the Algri series vessels. Just, they're honestly so versatile. They're fast. They have your deck full of any equipment you need, ROV, a submarine, a little boat, helicopter, and again, speedy. So they can go, I think, 40 knots or something, 35, 40 knots. So you can get to where you need to go fast. You can take off in the helicopter. Obviously, it's not all about speed, but I think that with this one, I made it kind of exactly what I want to see in a ship. Also, the RSV Adria for the massive superstructure and then the massive rear deck here that has a big helicopter. I also really do enjoy this one using it and even just looking at it, the shape of it ended up being so cool. But again, I can't tell you which one of my creations, even this little boat, like the 10R AB rib, I find so cool, like how I mini miniaturized everything, the helicopter, how I made it based off of the RX-92, just made it a little beefier. So I can go on about days talking about all my creations. I love all of them. These are just some of the ones that I decided to showcase and kind of show you how I use. Question 7, TBF asks, If you had to build an intersection for a four-lane, two-way road that crosses a road of the same type at 90 degrees, what would you do and why? So, I actually did a, did a course in university about this. It was civil engineering. I ended up doing structural, so there is some difference, but I do understand how the different road systems work. They will tell you, always use a traffic circle. Uh for the reason that you know you don't have any stops and you just keep traffic flowing so that's what they teach you while i do agree with that idea i don't necessarily think that a traffic circle is a one size fit all scenario you have to consider the roads you have to consider the roads they're coming from and going to you have to consider the speed limits where they are i mean you're not going to have two highways two two uh two lane or four lane highways intersect with uh a traffic circle in the middle of nowhere you're gonna have an off-ramp and the intersection like a butterfly intersection where you have to go up off and on ramp and do a big circle so it's not a one-size-fits-all I am partial to cloverleaf intersections which is like I said a butterfly intersection cloverleaf is where you pretty much have the roads wrapping around like you see here the nice thing about these is it doesn't impede any traffic going in the north and south and east and west directions except if you're trying to change lanes. So if you're just going, you just keep going. There's a ton of these in Canada where it's not as busy. Maybe in busier cities, you know, Los Angeles, you end up with standstill traffic or an accident closes down the whole thing. So that's something else to consider. But definitely for traffic just flowing and if it's not too busy like what we have here in Canada, this is probably just the fastest thing especially if you're trying to get from your destination without doing too much you know turning you're just going in one direction so that was a good question on to the next question eight how many hours does it take you to make a stormworks creation so maddie asks this maddie also helps run my discord server so thank you for that maddie uh pretty much the hours i don't i don't count uh f I, I don't want to know in, in, in you know ignorance is bliss but realistically, maybe I'll spend two or three hours a night, some nights, maybe sometimes longer. Uh, a simple thing like a truck, like this, but from scratch, not where I just make minor changes, but from scratch, maybe takes three hours or something. But if you're doing like a big, big ship like this, where you have connections running everywhere and electrical and all this different stuff and like a whole suite of microcontrollers down here that all have to be paired to different things you know i i'd say not hours but like part time working on it let's call it like after work or something it'll take maybe a month if i only work exclusively on this or up to six months like you saw for the mv cochran where you end up actually having to write new coding and programs if i'm not writing new programs probably can be done in about a month if i end up recycling some of my old create old uh, microcontrollers so, great question. Question 9 by Agitated Alice. Have you ever seen the rig? If so, what do you think of it? Additional question, will you ever cover Trust Me I'm an Engineer? It almost seems mandatory for an engineer YouTuber to do. So, sorry to disappoint Alice, I've not seen the rig, but I've read up on it. 
I would love to have seen it if it wasn't sci-fi. From what my understanding is, both the movie and the series are science fiction. Um, I'm not a huge fan of science fiction, unfortunately, uh, so it wouldn't really be up my alley, but the engineering sequence of things definitely would be. So if uh, maybe one day I do consider it and check it out, and then will I cover Trust Me, I'm an Engineer? I definitely do not want to sing, so if that's something, then probably not. But the song is hilarious, so if anyone hasn't watched it, definitely go check it out because it's, uh, yeah, I can relate to a lot of that. Question 10 by Reaper Leviathan 101. What is your favorite movie, show, and why? So, show is easy. It is justified, hands down. Everything about that show is, for me, perfect. It's both funny, it's serious, there's some romance, but, like, there's a great amount of acting and characters that are so cool anyway if you haven't seen justified check out justified great show my favorite not engineering related but just uh, really cool movie is too tough honestly it is there's so many good movies my favorite movie series would be the older james bonds not a huge daniel craig fan just wasn't my generation i grew up with pierce brosnan so it's the older james bonds but a lot of these new gerard butler movies he actually plays an engineer which i think is very cool like in uh the movie Greenland, where he's trying to escape a meteor attack, there he plays an engineer, a structural engineer, just like me. So I always found, find his roles where he ends up playing some type of engineer or scientist or architect or, you know, this type of role, very interesting because I can relate and be like, wow, that's kind of cool. He uses his skills to solve the problems that we see. So anyway, thank you, Reaper Leviathan 101, for this question. And that concludes our question series here. So thank you to everyone that asked. Uh, keep the questions coming on my Discord, of course. There will be part three coming up soon. And as always, happy Stormworksing.